My name is Ben Nemzer, and I'm a magician. One of my specialties is close-up magic, which is magic with ordinary objects, decks of cards, ropes, rubber bands, and I do that all over New York City. I'm gonna teach you some of the basics of magic that you guys can start performing right away. I'm gonna show you how to do the broken and restored toothpick trick. Would you mind if we used your napkin? Sure. All right, excellent. We're just gonna unfold it just like this. Okay. And I'm gonna place the toothpick right on the napkin and just wrap it up. Can you do me a favor? Can you feel the toothpick right here? Yes, I Break can. that in half for me. It's broken? Definitely. For sure, you felt it. Yeah, well, can I break it again? Yeah, go for it. All okay. right, really broken this time. Watch this. Wow. And it's right back together. Now for the explanation. This is something really cool you can do with any toothpick and almost any cloth napkin. So before you got here, I took your napkin and I took a toothpick and I hid it inside the hem. You'll see most napkins, most cloth napkins, have a little hem that's sewn over and if you squeeze it just a little bit, mm -hmm. there's an opening. So you take any toothpick and you slide it all the way into the hole and nobody knows it's there. Mm -hmm. Now if you get to dinner before your friends, you can set it up. You fold the napkin up and nobody will have any idea it's in there from the very beginning. Now here's what you do. You open the napkin and you can feel where it is because it's the only part that's stiff, but nobody will be able to see that there's a toothpick in there. You take an ordinary toothpick, place it slightly off center, not in the very center, but slightly off center, and you wrap it up. And I always take the first part and I go a little bit over. Mm -hmm. Over the center, that way when you turn it over, the toothpick won't fall out. You fold this end, this end. Now right here, this is the corner that has the toothpick. So I place this smack in the center and I keep my finger on it so I know exactly which toothpick is which. Okay. Then I turn it over and I hand that to you. You wanna make sure not to hand them the other toothpick because then they'll actually break it and the one in the hem will stay intact. So you hand them the toothpick that's inside the hem. Go ahead, break it. And they think they're breaking the toothpick that we just placed inside. Now it's very important to do a little magic move here, that way they think you're doing the magic, but it's already done, because when you open up, the broken toothpick is cleverly hidden in the hem, and this one is untouched. And that's how you break a toothpick and put it back together.